In October, Human Rights Watch put together a report which suggested that Bashar al-Assad was using cluster munitions inside Syria, and it's something that the regime deny. And yet, on the 25th of November, an airstrike on a village in Syria turned up evidence that cluster munitions were being used. So we spoke to someone at Human Rights Watch who gave us a little bit of clarity on this very issue. These people in Deir al asafir are showing the remains of submunitions of cluster bombs. Several of the weapons were dropped from a Syrian army plane thought to be a MiG-23, and they hit a playing field, a house nearby and farmland around it. They killed at least 12 people, including 11 children. the video then goes on to show a wide area where the bomblets from these cluster bombs actually hit. Earlier on, we spoke to Human Rights Watch, who've done a detailed analysis of the attack. We have spoken directly to eyewitnesses to this event, uh, but we have also looked at the video and uh, through um, video montage and the use of satellite imagery, have been able to locate exactly where this strike took place and to confirm um, that the videos which were posted on YouTube were filmed in this village of their As Asafir. One of these cluster bombs contains uh, around 150 submunitions, the small bomblets which explode when they hit the ground. And many of them did not explode and they do have the markings on them, identifying them as a specific type of Soviet era cluster bomb. These bombs were actually produced in the 1970s by the former Soviet Union and they were probably transported to Syria at that time. So they have probably been in Syrian armed stocks for decades. Uh, which is one reason why we see so many unexploded um, bomblets, because they hit the ground and because they have been in storage so long, their fuses have deteriorated to the extent that they no longer explode, but they still pose an extreme danger to the civilian population, especially children who think these are toys. They throw them at each other um, and they end up killing each other. We can be 100% certain that the cluster bomb which killed these children was dropped by an, a Syrian airplane um, under the control of the government. Uh, these are weapons which can only be dropped from the air, and the Free Syrian Army, the opposition, simply does not have any airplanes or helicopters they could use to drop these kind of weapons. And we have seen them dropped on an almost daily basis beginning in October. Um, so this is entirely consistent with a new pattern in this conflict of the use of cluster munitions throughout Syria. Despite mounting evidence that cluster bombs are being used extensively in attacks across the country, uh, President Assad still denies using them. 110 countries have signed an international treaty which bans the use of cluster munitions and Syria has not signed up to this treaty. So what can be done to ensure that countries like Syria no longer use weapons like these? Let us know your thoughts in a comment.